After many years as one of the faces of Nike football, Neymar left and joined Puma in September of 2020. In this video, I'll be comparing his last boot with Nike in the Mercurial Vapor 13s and comparing them with a boot that he's worn as recently of this season in the Puma Future Z 1.2 in 5 rounds to see if Neymar really upgraded when it came to football boots. Round 1 Fight! Starting off with the Puma Future Z 1.2, this is easily the most comfortable boot I've worn straight out of a box. They are so comfortable you could wear them straight into a game with literally no need to break them in. They are that comfortable. I'd also say they are very well padded boot, very very comfortable and so they are a bit more on the heavier side but they are still not too heavy. They are also a very wide fitting boot so if you have wide feet this would be a boot I'd recommend. As well as the fusion fit band on top, it gives your boot like a custom fit to the shape of your foot because of how it stretches. Next is the Mercurial Vapor 13 and these boots are the complete contrast to the Puma Future Zs. So first of all, straight out of the box, they're very very uncomfortable, the flying is very very stiff and took a quite a while for me to actually break in. I had a few issues with the breaking as well, such as blisters, especially in the heel area. Now if you have wide feet, these boots are not for you, I'm going to say that straight away. But what I would say, the boots do, after a while, soften up and do shape to your foot very very nicely and feel very responsive and almost feel like an extension of your foot. However, in terms of comfort, they still lack in my opinion, so for me, the winner is still easily the Puma Future. Yeah. When I say design, I'm not talking about the way the boot looks, but more to do with the technology that the brands have used when designing the boots. So starting off with the Vapor 13, you have a 360 degree flyknit construction, as well as high tenacity yarns and a one piece upper. Nike have also used ultra thin Nike overlay, which helps you get closer to the ball and gives you like kind of fit barefoot feeling I should say as well as having all condition control like all Nike boots have had since 2012. The insole has a Nike grip system which eliminates any kind of slippage within the boot and you have the internal chassis system which works to ensure increased responsiveness of the mark as well as if you look at this outsole or the sole plate whichever you want to call it these new aero track zones which also help with explosiveness. Now when it comes to the Puma Future Z 1.2 you have a much much simpler boot. So, first of all, we have a flexible textured upper to enhance grip on the ball, and then a dynamic motion system outsole for freedom of movement and support. There is also an ultra lightweight pepper based material for support and comfort, and an advanced stud configuration for enhanced multi-directional traction. The outsole for this boot is also FGAG so you can be used on firm ground surfaces and artificial surfaces, as well as having a lace closure for a snug feet. So you also have the Fusion Fit compression band which helps to shape the contours of your foot to give you the best possible fit. Based on the tech you put on the boots as well as improvements made from the previous iterations of each boot, I'd have to say the winner of this run has to be the Mercurial Vapor 30. You win! Round 3 Fight! When it comes to traction in football boots, I usually just do these two simple tests. So. Number one would mean just running in a straight line, that's just to see the response enough and the kind of spring off feel you get from when you do a sprint style in football boots. And the next would be where I run in a zigzaggy kind of slalom um, manner, so that's to see the traction when I make sharp changes in direction. So with the Puma Future Z 1.2, you get a very, you get a good amount of traction. I won't say it's anything too crazy. You feel very stable when you're running, when you're changing direction. But like I said, it's nothing too out of this world. But still, a very good boot. It still offers a great amount of traction, especially with this um, DMS or dynamic motion system outside that Puma have created. It works very well. But like I said, it's just a very decent. I won't say it's anything too spectacular. When it comes to quote unquote speed boots like the Mercurial Vapor 13s, the real star of the shows tend to be the sole plate and there is no exception here with the Mercurial Vapor 13s and honestly in terms of all the sole plates from full boots I've used this would have to be the most aggressive and the best performing out there in terms of lockdown for sponsors so the boot entirely it's 10 out of 10 in each department so when you're running straight you feel like you're almost being propelled forward and it almost feels like the boot is an extension of your foot. Even when you're changing direction, you can actually feel how aggressive it is. You don't feel like too weighted and you you still remain balanced, but you can definitely feel sharper when you're running. Overall, I'd say the winner of this run has to be the Mercurial Vapor 13. You win! Round 4. Fight! So round 4 is feel for the ball. Feel for the ball is essentially just how the boots feel when you're dribbling, passing, shooting, etc. Don't pair of boots are actually going to make you better at these, this is just down to your skills and I'm just talking about how the boots feel when you're doing these actions. 
That being said, disclaimer number one, I am nothing but a humble Sunday league player, not D1, not academy, so please be nice in the comments when you see these clips, I'm just messing about here. And number two, I just want to say there will be no shooting in this video based on what happened last time. Now, when it comes to the Mercurial Vapor 13s, the upper is, like I said, flying it and it is very thin, so you get this good barefoot kind of feeling when you're striking the ball. You get this kind of almost like, say, stinging sensation when you pass and strike a ball, like as if you get this made a good connection with the ball itself. But as opposed to the Puma Future Zs, the barefoot feeling is still, it's still kind of there, but you get more of a padded sensation just based on how the boots are built. It's still good, but I still wouldn't say it's as a raw sensation as it is with the Mercurial Vapor 13s. So based on your preference, based on mine, I like the kind of barefoot feel, so I'm gonna give this round to the Mercurial Vapor 13s. You win! Final, Final round. round. Fight! Now the fifth and final round is performance. Now when I talk about performance, I'm talking about like a combination of all the things we've kind of talked about in previous rounds in a more kind of game-like setting, so which boot I feel is better to play in. Now this round is pretty much more subjective than the other ones, the other ones I feel like a bit more kind of objective in your face, the answer is right there, but for this one it's a bit more of a preference-based kind of round, so please take what I say with a pinch of salt. Um, so yeah. Now when it comes to the Mercurial Vapor 13s, in terms of performance, I've not had my best games in these. For me when it comes to playing in full boots, the most important factor I feel is comfort. If I'm not comfortable, I don't feel like, I don't know, it's, maybe it's, a psycholo it's definitely a psychological thing, but if I'm not comfortable playing in a pair of boots or sh as comfortable as I should be, then it kind of takes me back a bit or I have kind of worse feelings about a boot. That being said, in terms of like other aspects like responsiveness, lockdown, traction this boot is phenomenal um feel for ball phenomenal but like it's just not my necessarily my cup of tea should i say and it's a speed boot so like I, but it's not gonna make you faster i'm very quick myself and like even then like these boots don't do anything for me so like i said comfort is the most important thing and because of the issues i've had with comfort with these like blisters i said breaking them in i've had kind of a you know i had mixed feelings about these boots so obviously the winner of this round has to be the puma future 1.2s like the boot is a lot more solid than the vapor 13s it's a lot more padded which i tend to prefer so like growing up i used to wear total 90s all the time and they're like well back then they were very well padded they weren't lightweight boot they were they're a bit clunky back then but like they're a very comfortable padded boot and this kind of gives me that i say it feels like a total 9 but like it's got that padded sensation like a total 9 which i definitely prefer playing in everything just feels more comfortable and natural and flowing when i wear these as opposed to the vapor 13 so yeah the winner of this round would have to be the prima future z 1.2s you win all the rounds are done meaning we have a final score of 3-2 meaning the winner is the mercurial vapor 13 so from an objective standpoint you could say the mercurial vapor 13 is a better boot but is it really objective like you could say this is subjective the way i've given the points in each round you could say it's subjective like my opinion is just like a grain of sand in the sahara desert at this point whether you maybe own both these pairs of boots and you probably came to a different conclusion that might be fine as well whether or not name actually think he's upgraded himself you know i'm pretty sure puma compensating him well enough to think that puma future z is better boot than the vapor 13 anyway that being said that brings us to the end of the video if you thought the video was sublime, like the video, if you thought it's subpar, still like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know what kind of boot clash do you want to see next, do you want to see control boot versus control boot, do you want to see speed versus speed boot, do you want to see evolution of football boot through the years or like a boot from 2005 versus a boot from 2007 of the same kind of silo, let me know in the comment section down below and once again, make sure you follow me on all my socials, they'll be on screen and thanks for watching, my name is Sub, this has been Sub Sounds Football, peace out.